Good morning, boys and girls, and happy Tuesday. What do you think about that animal behind me? It's creeping up behind me. It's kind of scary looking. Let's continue talking about compare and contrast. Yesterday, we compared the pteranodon to the pterodactyl. That was kind of fun. When we compare and contrast, we notice what is the same and what is different. I noticed this dinosaur had feathers, and I thought that was interesting that while those bird, those pterodactyl and pteranodon, they're not birds because they don't have feathers, here is a dinosaur that does have feathers. So today we're going to compare and contrast the pterodactyl to this new creature. Let's start reading about him. This is called the Velociraptor. Velociraptor ran. Velociraptor was a kind of dinosaur. It lived millions of years ago. It is extinct. Velociraptor was small. It was the size of a turkey. Velociraptor was fast. It ran on two legs. It chased smaller animals. Why do you think velociraptors chase smaller animals? You're right, it was going to eat it, wasn't he? So we know that a velociraptor was a carnivore. I hope you thought of that. Each foot had a sharp claw on it. Velociraptors use their claws to hold down their prey. Sharp teeth filled the velociraptor's mouth. These teeth bit into its prey. Velociraptors had a long tail. The tail helped Velociraptors balance. Velociraptors had feathers, but it could not fly. The arms were too short. Why would short arms make it hard to fly? Feathers may not have helped the may let's see feathers may have helped the velociraptor stay warm. They may have helped the velociraptor run faster. Velociraptors built nests. They laid eggs there. What other animal makes nests and lays eggs? With their questions, they're trying to get us to compare, aren't they? Contrast and compare, just like we are doing. That's awesome. Parts of a velociraptor, teeth, tail, feathers, claw, legs, and arms. Pictures, balance, to, balance means to lose, to keep steady and upright. There we go. Claw is a hard, sharp nail. Extinct means no longer alive. And prey an animal that is hunted by another animal. So this little guy right here, sorry, is the prey. And the Velociraptor is the predator. I knew you knew that one, good. Okay, let's go to our compare and contrast paper. Remember, you can make your own. It's really easy, especially if you use a lined piece of paper, then you can make your own or just if you can get somebody to print it off for you, that's fun too. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and title this first. So today we're talking about the Velociraptor. And maybe I should make sure that I know how to spell that. Here we go. V-E-L-O. The low sir. The C C I R after. Okay, let's go back to that one now. So I'm going to write capital V. Oops, I didn't do capital V L O C I R A app door. Velociraptor. And let's make that bigger so you can see it. There we go. And let's do one over here. 
This is the one that we did yesterday, the tear ductum. There we go. P T R O D A C T Y L, pterodactyl. So, yesterday we read about the pterodactyl and we compared it to the pteranodon. pteranodon. Today we're going to compare the velociraptor to the pterodactyl. Okay, so this section right here is something that they have in common. And guess what? Right away, we can say that they both are reptiles. Reptiles. Okay. Or something similar to a reptile, right? Cold blooded. They both are extinct. Extinct. They both are extinct. That means they don't live anymore on the earth. They're completely gone. They both ate meat, didn't they? Do you remember that? The, the pterodactyl ate fish and the velociraptor eats little animals. So we call that a car carnivore. Did you think of some other ones? I hope you did. Add two more ways that they're the same. I'll let you do that on your own. Ways that they are the same. Okay, now finish that up. Get two more re ways that they are exactly the same. And then we're going to go over here to the Velociraptor. And we're going to say one way that the Velociraptor is different than the Pterodactyl. So the Velociraptor had short arms, where the Pterodactyl had wings, right? How about size? What did they say the Velociraptor size was? Do you remember? Size of a turkey. Remember the pterodactyl? What size it was? Size of a chicken. Yeah. We got the size of a turkey, the size of a chick versus the size of a chicken. So they're similar. So which which one's a little bit bigger? Yeah, the Velociraptor is a little bit bigger, huh? Good. What about feathers? Do the Velociraptor have feathers? Yeah. Even though it didn't fly, it was the one that had feathers. And the pterodactyl has skin. Scaly skin. Okay, if you can think of one more way that the pterodactyl and the, and the velociraptor are different. Think of something about the velociraptor that's not the same as a pterodactyl. And do one on this side and this side. Or add some more things that are about the same. Either way is okay. Because I can think of a lot of ways that they're the same, can't you? All right, thank you for doing your compare and contrast activity. And remember, when you ask questions, that helps you compare and contrast. So ask questions about why they're the same and why they're different. Have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.